All right, welcome back. So today we have the one minute out Wilcox mount. This is the 0 0.410 edition mount. There's also a 5 eighths of an inch riser. So let's just go over what you get. So obviously you get the mount, you get a sweet sticker. You can see that there. You get the adapter for your magnifier and two screws to go with it. it comes in a little bag. You get some directions. We might actually look at those. They're pretty decently laid out. It tells you everything you need to do, which is really kind of all over here. So we'll do that. Fold those there. You get some thread lockers. This is Loctite 271. And you get these cross pieces in the driver and you get a front sight block to bring your front sight up to the correct height. So we are going to uh, install this right now live on camera so you can watch me mess this up. I did a little bit of prep ahead of time. I took out the bulk carrier group and charging handle just so I can slide the mount on. I took off my irons and my optics so we can see it all kind of go on together uh, at once here. And then, of course, I got my magnifier. These are the factory screws. We'll take those out. I'll just put that over there. Okay, so step one is going to be put the riser on the upper receiver. Wow, that was pretty shocking. So there's a lot of space. You could probably get it all the way forward there like that. I'm going to actually bias it towards the rear. And that's because I like having my magnifier a little bit further back. Uh, I find there's some, some short eye relief with the G33 magnifier. All right, so permanent installation is desired. That's step one. Apply some Loctite to the threads of the screws. Set aside. All right, sure weapon is safe. Yep, done that. We slid it on. Got that. Install the tabs. Okay, so it is showing the tabs going in from the left with the large side. That's that side up. So let's figure this out. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a tab. And here is another tab. All right, tabs are done. Insert the four screws. Secure until tight using the Allen wrench provided. All right, so we got two screws in the back here and two screws up front. We can see there's a little bit of play. So one thing I'm going to do is as I'm tightening the screws down, I'm going to actually push it forward. Uh, that's because the recoil impulse for the rifle uh, goes to the rear, but then when it finishes, it goes to the front, right? So that bolt closing, that is a recoil impulse. So we want to bias things in the direction of the recoil impulse. So that every time you fire that rifle, uh, it is kind of reinforcing the way you have it mounted already. So I'm going to take these out, apply some Loctite, and stick them back in. And I'm just going to keep in mind that the rear screws were all the way to the rear. That way they go back where they came from. All right, so you saw me just clean out the thread holes from some excess Loctite, just get that stuff out of there. And now, just like on your scope cap rings, I'm gonna do these in an X pattern just to snug them down. All right, so that's done. It just says install until tight. You know, how many foot pounds is that? 
I, I don't know. Okay, so those are done there. Uh, ensure the rail is properly mounted by sliding forward and backwards on the rail. Yep, it is definitely there. Okay, so it says then mount the threaded front sight riser. We'll do that last instead. Uh, and then we're gonna do now the magnifier while we're back here. So we'll close that, we'll close that down. Yep, that is pretty, pretty stiff. That's kind of one of the, the benefits here. Let's get these screws out. Okay, again, if permanent installation is desired, apply a drop of Loctite to the screws, set them aside. Yep, directions, screw them in. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing here. Got the shoe on. And again, it mounts in just like that. So we'll hold that steady. Give me a screw. All right, so those are threaded down hand tight. Interesting, the supplied Wilcox screws are a flathead, whereas the factory ones from EOTech are a Phillips head. Just something interesting to note. I've got my paint pen here. I'm just gonna witness mark these. And those will just help me make sure that those aren't backing out and recognize it if it does happen. So we'll leave this over here to dry. Just put that on that right there. Now we're gonna take our optic, our aim point T1, pop it on the one Picatinny section there. Let's get you mounted up. Okay, so very interesting. So what we just learned is the Wilcox mount only has one section for Picatinny, whereas the Geisley mount has two blocks and a screw, and the LaRue one only has one section. So the LaRue will mount, the Geisley will not. So why do you see LaRue mounts on these all the time? Well. Now you know. Okay, I'm gonna quickly uh, swap out mounts and then we'll get back to this. All right, and we are back LaRue mount and there we go. Boom, so red dots mounted. Uh, we'll mount the iron sights now. So here's the front sight block. All nicely machined there, very nice. Uh, we'll note this is the 0 .410 mount, so that mount plus a 1.54 standard co-witness height mount gets you to 1.95. So think about this as having uh, a, one, a 193 mount on your rifle. So we'll do the rear sight first here. I'm going to mount my knight's rear. There it goes. It's gonna sit pretty far back. So we'll see about. Okay, now let's do the front. So interesting, the Knight's rear takes a Allen key. The Knight's front is a flathead. Heaven forbid we are uh, consistent here. Okay, so we got the front mounted there. I bust out my screwdriver. I'll just tighten that down. I think that should be a good position. And we're gonna mount it forward. Just to kind of keep it 
out of the way. Yep, nothing is ever simple or quick. Okay, let's get a last hand tighten here. All right, these are actually pretty soft too, that, that screw, but it's big enough that if you strip it a little bit, it's not the end of the world. Okay, and now we're gonna pop our magnifier on. There it is. So I'm just gonna check eye relief real quick here. Uh, I might move it forward maybe one rail section, but we'll see how it, We'll see how it goes. All right.